I can't. I'm too st- I'm so I'm too stressed. What was that? Put your wrist. Another bullshit. That's what it is. Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Prison Break. Uh let's just get on with it. Oh, this happened! Ah. You leave tonight. No, you don't. Such a mess. Back out. How do you escape? Or die. Lost a lot of blood. He's hypovolemic. I got it. I deserve to see him. That's my right. It's not your right to see him. Until tomorrow. And his execution. I mean... They're not gonna kill him. I know that much. The question is, how are they gonna get him out? If you go to the tombs, you don't get out. Not until they strap you up. I know, but the whole point was to get him out. I'm gonna leave my brother behind. You have massively underestimated me. Really? Really. That ain't my fight. Next time I'm on PI. We're not having this debate. We're not? No, we're, we're not, not having floor. this Why debate. We not have the floor open to everybody else, huh? Let's see what they all say. We got a clear shot, baby. Every day we don't use that hose, another day the screws can find it. The way is not finished. Not clear to the infirmary. That's all we need. <sighs> so you're just gonna make a run for it. In the middle of the day. Nah, you gotta do what you gotta do, huh, baby? You're gonna screw this whole thing up. It feels like... We're in business. I'd like to think that Michael has thought of every single possible scenario, right? Everything that could happen. Because what if he gets here in prison and he's in isolation if he's locked somewhere else? Like he was lucky that he was out and about and he would be able, and he was able to communicate with him. But what if he was in the shoe this entire time? He had to have a plan or something to get him out before escaping, right? So I don't know. It looked like, but it looked like he had something, like a countermeasure or something. I don't know. How are the camels? Oh well, the camels, uh, the camels are fine. When do I get to see you? Earlier than I thought. Daddy wow. said he's coming home soon. <laughs> hey, hey, put mommy on the phone. On this. One. What the fuck? What are you talking about? They said you were gonna be there for another year. Hey, the orders just came down the pipe. Now, hell, if I care where they came down from. <laughs> you can't just like go home and live a normal life. They're after you. You're an escaped convict. You can't keep this life forever. Hey, uh, you know, Calm is only letting me use this link up for a few more minutes, so uh I love when they do that because I don't like him. But somehow they make it like I'm not saying that what he's doing is right, but you know, he shows us that he has a kid that he wants to go see, right? And a wife. And I'm, I'm hoping that they are the reason why he wants to, to leave, you know, so he can go see them. But who knows? It may be some other reason. But when I saw that he's like calling his little girl, I was like, oh, okay. They're, they're making him some somewhat relatable um but then he's like flat out lying to them like he's telling them that he's in the army and uh, all this crap which i don't think that you can keep up like this lie like what how how are you gonna do that um jesus but i like that he's not just there that they're making him whole which is very it it's not very usual for like um shows especially because he's not a main character but somehow they give him things you know because a lot of the times you have um shows where you have the two main characters or a selected number of main characters and they they're all the ones that get the backstories, but then you have all these 
supportive characters that we don't really get to know them that much or know what their motivations are or or what and they could have very easily kept him as just someone who just infiltrated this group and wants to get out for whatever reason but they're still giving him something and i appreciate that because i don't feel like he's like a main main character right but he's still very rounded from what i see here like he he exists that's what i'm saying he's an actual person No, 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 I don't want to see it. 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 No, I don't want to see it. Ah! 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 Ah!
clean up the, the area. The disinfect the area where they're gonna put the needle in. <laughs> so weird. God, you're gonna be like a shot in the face. Or he's not gonna say anything because they have his talk about not a lot of time to do it. Your boyfriend. He can still be saved. Okay, go, 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 go. Terrence Stedman's still alive. There's three sheets of paper inside. You find all the names you need are on. Everyone that started this okay, whole thing. Okay, just give it to Come her. On. You want to stay alive, do as I say. Now. Throw it to her. I don't know. Do something. Oh, fuck. Oh, he's gonna die. He's dead. He's so dead right now. How are you gonna explain this? So, uh, what are we doing here, Danny? Out for a walk. Where's the lawyer? I don't know what you're talking about. Mmm. Well, it's nothing. It's not. Don't. That's back up. See, you should have just given it to her without any explanation. That's here. That's here. These names are important. Run. <sighs> that's all it was. You that's made all me. it was. Please, man. Danny. Allison do in one month. Paul, you and me, we, we've been friends since the Academy. It's gonna kill him. You name me. You two hit the road right now. Look at this guy's face. <laughs> Super intense. <laughs> It's another, of course. I mean, of course, if it were that easy, right? Um, so yeah, we'll see. I just want to watch the next one. It's a good thing they're watching it on a weekly basis now. So I'll see you guys then, because there's, it's just too loud. Um, but yeah, that was amazing. Um, just, yeah, I knew that guy was gonna die too, and it's sad, but hey, you you could have played that smarter, dude. I don't know. Until next time, bye. They're this close. This close, okay? But of course they have encountered a new set of problems, as always. It's never easy, right? But they're, they can smell it now. <laughs> they, can, they, can, they can actually smell freedom. Ah, uh, right? And I, and I was wondering, like, why, why are they showing me this scene in particular? You know, that guy that was doing the cleaning and the... Um, the ward, and he looked at the uh, the drain, and he was just like, huh, and then left. Because when that happened, you know, he noticed that it was broken, and he went to fix it. I just didn't think that they would be so efficient that they would fix it that quickly. I thought, you know, okay, they put the paperwork in, right, and uh, at some point it gets to it. Like this is a prison; it's not like it's a five star hotel. But people are gonna start complaining about shit. But I don't, I don't know. Like, <laughs> I guess they need that to be fixed ASAP because it's a health issue. I'm assuming, right? It's the, it's the, the hospital wing. So I guess, yeah. It's just, it seems like it just happened overnight that they fixed that shit. Very, very, very frustrating. Ain't an option. You are. But if he can't, like, he's not magic, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. 
You okay? Felt sick again. Yeah, you took your IVs out. Hey, well. What's he gonna do, steal a cotton ball? Can't have him walking around, Doc, you know. Mm, that. Come on. Leave. Fuck, just leave. Okay, jump him. Jump him and take the keys. Hey, Keith, come check this out. Fuck. Okay, I'm down. They're going back. Ah. Let's go. Ain't none of the sheetrock in front of the break room's been touched. Ah, the PI's letting it dry out. Still? Man, so they can't escape now. like how they must feel because like to have to go back to the cell when you thought that you were gonna be like out and about by now that's crazy I always feel like there's there's always a reason for shows, especially shows that are very smart in their writing process where they don't have any filler scenes because they don't have time for that. Okay, they need to tell a story. And so everything that they're showing us, it's for a reason. Um, it, it has to lead somewhere or it has to be the payoff for something, right? So. Yes, the scene might be interpreted as like, you know, oh my god, we're getting closer and, the, you know, the it's coming, right? The execution and blah, 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 blah. But the fact that she was like, oh, what are the steps? So you need to follow a certain procedure in order for this to go smoothly. And we know that they're not escaping, so they need to figure out a way to stall, basically. And one of those ways is to fuck up with this chair. I don't see any other way for them to make it so that Lincoln does not get executed at that specific time. Either they figure out a way to escape before that, which I, it's very unlikely, considering how much it took for them to figure out a plan, you know, to, to do this plan in the first place, or they need to stall. But if that, I don't know how long they can stall for if they mess up with this chair because they can just call someone to come fix it overnight. But at least it'll give them like at least 24 hours. I don't know. I just feel like there's a reason why we're learning this information. All right. We're not gonna let him. Oh, 
come on. Just to say goodbye. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm told that you have to wait until final visitation. Would you talk to your father for me? God, this sucks. I mean, I know they have to find a way, right? But it's still, like, watching this, it's heartbreaking. Foreman claims that Stedman is still alive? I don't know, Nick. That oh, they can exhume the, the body yeah, and the see that it's not suicide. him that's dead. That's another way. Officially, all we're asking is for an exhumation order. If he grants it, he can order a stay until the test comes in. An exhumation order? Uh, my food's here. Yay. Um, I'm gonna eat while I watch this because I don't have time to stop. <laughs> so yeah, I have a lot to do today. Not enough to do the job. Had to wait another three weeks while they reset the whole process. Mm. It may sound crazy, but he said it was the worst three weeks of his life. Because it's not the lightning that kills you, it's the wait. He's got three more weeks. There's a lot of protocol. In yeah. The New death warrant. And we got to. Medical clearance. A lot can happen in three weeks. Yeah, and we got to know. Yeah, what scrapes, y'all? <laughs> everybody, so everybody thinks that you're like boyfriends, that you're doing sexy stuff. <laughs> you're putting them up the sheet all the time. to have this rat like mess up with the circuits I'm doing that too yep no brian is shake hell i mean yeah. this is also a rat good times good times so uh, what's going on out there nothing you know just staying out of trouble i meant in terms of any office gossip we're square get out of here I mean, I can't believe him. He doesn't want to be selling his ass for like a quarter. That's a lot of that's a lot of ass <laughs> to make it to a hundred bucks. So their only other solution is to exhume this body, so they can realize there's not this that motherfucker. Sorry. Pardon my French. Careful, there's 2,000 bolts running through that thing. Oh, God. After Hale told me that Terrence Deadman was alive and well. Your Honor, I'm presenting to the clerk an affidavit from the director of the Secret Service Agency. It states that at no time has there ever been an agent of that organization by the name of Paul Kellerman or Daniel Hale. In addition, there were no I other can have an answer for everything. Oh, no it's not going to work. Bullets were found, no blood, no shell casings. The only witness to this alleged murder is Veronica Donovan. We're going to give more time to a guy who killed the vice president's brother. This guy's a terrorist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Forget about losing our jobs. We could all face charges. Only the three of us now. He really is really determined to fuck up with like Michael. Like you need a hobby, my dude. I guess this is his hobby. What's your guys' call? Moving on 40. I guess if we see Like I know he comes across as a terrible, terrible piece of shit human being, right? But if I try to see things from his perspective, he thinks that Burroughs, that Lincoln is guilty, that he's a killer. And that his brother is trying to free him. His brother who's a bank robber, who's like a and he's been a problem for him since he got here. So if I see things from his side, uh, you know, I'm not saying that I like him. I still think he's horrible, like the things he says and does. But he should be like guard of the year because <laughs> he's like trying to prevent a prisoner to you know escape making sure that this 
you know, terrorist because, yeah, he, in his mind, he is guilty of killing the vice president's brother, um, gets what he deserves. You know what I mean? But still, I don't like him. I wonder if he would change his mind if he knew for a fact that Lincoln is innocent. I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Mmm. It's so scary. Ah, oh, stop. You're saying. Damn it. I guess I don't know if this judge is gonna come through. I gotta get my head straight. Let's just hear a memory, swap stories. Yeah, you can't just weather. like hope anymore. Especially when it's so hope. close, like I can't take it anymore. Yeah. Totally get it. Alright. You can't go, LJ. I don't care. I have to see him. You can't go to the prison. You'll never make it through the gate. Shit. Funny then. Three out of five. How often would you make those for LJ? I never had him on weekends. Maybe the only decent thing I ever did for him. No. Mm -hmm. You were there for him. I don't know. I don't know how I can stomach this stuff before. Oh no. What do I say? Mm, yeah. LJ, it's your dad. Oh, shit. Ah, I'm gonna cry. Where are my tissues? Hey, Dad. Hold on. Okay. I know he's not gonna die. Like, he can't die. But... This is it. It was so clear. The whole dream. And when I woke... <sighs> I knew that today wasn't going to be the end. That... That we'll see each other again, Dad. I know it. I love you, Dad. Mm. Ah, I hate this. Not with the related oh, come on. Dude, we're, we're our last home. I wanted to make sure that you were fully aware of the circumstances. I'm fully acquainted with the Burroughs case, sir, but I never heard about any of this. Well, I, I hadn't either until I spoke with Burroughs' attorneys this afternoon. And I understand that most of this evidence is technically considered circumstantial. Right, but... I have to go back to... The 10% that it's actually innocent. Be there when like, why don't you just... You could do is review his case. Yeah. And, Dad, if it helps, pretend it didn't come from me. Like, maybe just cover all bases before you there kill someone that may or may not be innocent. Put on your diaper and let's go. Ah, uh, I hate this. I mean, I know they're gonna stop it. They have to. They have to escape prison at some point. Come on! Okay. I understand. The governor has reviewed your case fully. He's not granting clemency. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's proceed. So why do you call? Why do you get people's hopes up? Just don't do anything then. Oh, Michael. It's gonna be okay, bud. It's like a last minute miracle. Something has to happen. I didn't kill that man. If they actually I kill him, I'm be, I'll be I shocked. That's the thing that's gonna shock me. If they, if this actually happens. So far. See, they're talking I about you, faith and Came in here, man. stuff. The to walk out here. So. It's gonna be like a last minute thing, but I don't know what. Yeah. I don't know what else to say other than 
you know how to you know get like the pressure up and the anxiety because you you have all this like oh that that's gonna happen or oh you know the chair he's gonna make it so like the chair doesn't work and then they find out and then there's like another thing it's like oh they're gonna they're gonna say yes to the appeal right like no that doesn't work oh he's gonna grant pardon right or something no the clemency so it's like one thing after another and just get the hopes up that something has to give and nothing happens so i'm assuming in the next episode something will like i said the only thing that would actually shock me at this point i mean i'm still gonna be surprised because you know it's gonna be surprising of whatever it is but if this actually takes place if lincoln actually gets murdered <laughs> because it is a murder who's innocent but if he actually gets killed on the electric chair and then just michael has to escape for him so his own sake and has to take all these people with him um that would be the most shocking thing for me but i have a feeling that everything's gonna work out just fine so but still stressful is to still know exactly how to put you in that level of anxiety and uh just question everything so yeah Ooh. I'll see you guys uh, on the next one. <laughs> Bye.